Welcome back to Three Inquisitive Kids, and in this video, we will be starting number theory in functions counting and itinerary problems. And here is the first example. Solve the following set of equations. We have two equations grouped up together by a bracket, and we have 9a plus 6b plus 4c is equal to 80, as well as a plus b plus c is equal to 15. So anytime when solving equations, our main goal is to eliminate as much variables as we can. Or in other ways, is to end up with as less variables as we can. And here, you might sound a little concerned because there's three variables and only two equations. And you know that if you want to solve for three variables, you have to at least have three different equations. But here we have three variables and only two equations. So we're never going to end up with a solid set of numbers. We're going to have possibilities. But anyway, we still try to minimize the amount of variables we have. So one way to do that is to substitute. Here we can rewrite the first equation as 4 times the sum of a plus b plus c plus 2b plus 5c, and that's equal to 80. So because we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 15, we can substitute that as a plus b plus c, multiply that with 4, and we get 60. So we can rewrite it as 2b plus 5c is equal to, is equal to 80 minus 60, which is 20. So here is when you really start thinking about, excuse me, here we have 5a All right, that's 5a. So if you're not sure about how to solve indefinite equations, I highly recommend you to click into the topic we have for that. I will be putting um, the description down below. So you can go into that. Um, and now let's talk about solving this indefinite equation. So which solution would work best for this problem? Well, we can think about multiples. So to be right, this would definitely be a multiple, be an even number, or e for even, because it actually seems like it's being divided by e. All right, so this is has to be even because it's a multiple of two, and after multiple, after being added to something else, its final sum is also a multiple of e. I mean, sorry, a even number. So if the sum is a even number and this number is an even number, then this then it means that the number it was added with after being divided by two will also have a remainder of zero, which is a even number. So five a will have to be a even number. Alright, so let's see. If a is equal to if a is equal to say zero, let's put up zero, two, and four as our uh, as what we have for the even possibilities of a. So if a is equal to 0, then b would be equal to 10, causing c to be equal to 5. If a was equal to 2, the other two variables would be equal to 5 and then 8. And if a is equal to 4, you will have 0 and 11. And obviously we cannot keep going, because b cannot be a negative number. So this is our final solution to this system of equations.